see we have a bunch of uh, ingredients here. Of course, we have coffee, but we do have some bread, some lemon juice, some cinnamon, some cinnamon sugar, kiwi, some apples, eggs, butter, cream cheese, milk, and of course, me. Good morning, everybody. Thanks for uh, joining us. Uh, you guys have been asking for a cooking show, and uh, well, guess what? Today, uh, we are going to do a fun little recipe, I think, and um, I hope you enjoy it. It's uh, apple French toast roll-ups, uh, rolled up and dipped in uh, some cinnamon sugar with a side of maple syrup. Good morning. Thank you all for joining. Hey, Indigo Rose. How are you? Ramsey Silent, Carlitos and Carlitos and Fang and Jen. Good morning. Hey, Bobby. How are you? Hope you're doing well. Night Riders gal. I'm on my phone for now, so not much lagging. Okay, thank you, uh, Night Riders Gal. Jeremy, good morning. Um, I think I saw Bayou. Sorry, you're having problems there. Uh, but first off, ladies and gentlemen, uh, today, today, ladies and gentlemen, it is uh, January 18th here. And, uh, well, hey, Panda Moon, good morning. Um, it's January 18th here, but I know in America it's only January 17th. But January 18th is a special day. It's a very, very special day because my internet mom's birthday is today. Hey, Mark, long time. How are you? Uh, Robert Wallace, good morning. So, <laughs> Night Riders gal. <sighs> we have time traveled. I meant, yeah, September. Duh. Did I say October? I thought it was September. I, I'm so confused with months right now because I was doing October schedules for my work yesterday. Oh my God. Did I say September? August? <sighs> Silver Street, good morning. Vin, good morning. Kamal, good morning. I, I need drinks. And guess what? The board is right there if you want to help support the channel. Night Riders gal, ladies and gentlemen, September 18th is Night Rider gal birthday. I said January. I don't know what the hell I'm saying. Either way, Night Riders gal, my internet mom. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, you awesome, amazing woman. Happy birthday to you. I really hope that uh, tomorrow, your time, you have a great birthday. Really, seriously. Um, okay, ladies and gentlemen, I got my coffee. And, uh, hey, Trevor, good morning. I just, yeah, it's one of those days, you know. I woke up, migraine, we got a typhoon coming through. Drinks for Drew? Thank you, Jeremy, I appreciate that. Debbie McKee, good morning. Oh, and John McKee, I forgot to say hi to John because I saw him earlier, too. Ah, got coffee. It's very, very important that you have coffee. Sandra Schaefer, long time. How are you? Glad that you're here. Cobra, my evil twin. Look at this. I do a cooking show. Everybody shows up. Love it. Uh, but yeah, today, uh, very quickly, um, apple, French toast, roll-ups, uh, dipped in cinnamon sugar with a bit of uh, maple syrup on the side or honey. Depends on what you want. Good morning, Miguel. Um, and I think it's a quite a, an easy recipe uh, for people that are on the go. Probably takes 20 minutes to make, I guess. I'll kind of make it a bit longer. Hey, Leone, good morning. Um, but uh, I thought, you know, this might be kind of fun and interesting. Hey, Peter Tang, good morning. Um, I do have, I do have a, uh, Mindy's mom actually gave this to me uh, a year and a half ago. So hopefully the camera going up there will work a bit. And um, yeah, I guess we should just get right into it, ladies and gentlemen. You know my birthday. Thank you, brother. You're welcome, uh, Night Riders Gal. Hey, Fran, good morning. Um, yeah, Facebook notified me that it was your birthday night, writers, gals, so, <laughs> damn Facebook, eh? Um, so yeah, a lot of you have asked me, uh, about, uh, getting back into cooking shows. Hey, Kathy3, how are you? Um, so I might as well, uh, just get right into it, and, uh, pretty much, uh, we gotta saute some apples, uh, first off, so that's probably the longest part, um, we're going to saute some apples uh, in a little bit of uh, lemon juice and a little bit of ground cinnamon. Um, let that cool off a little bit while we're preparing the bread. And uh, basically the bread 
is just, you know, we use all kinds of different breads. Uh, for me, uh, this is just top value. It's like 88 cents for uh, six slices, which is cut a little bit thicker. I have uh, eight slices up there somewhere. Uh, we're going to cut the crust off. We're going to roll it out uh, to make it really flat. Spread some delicious cream cheese. Fill it with apple. Roll it up. Dip it in egg. Fry it up. Yum. Where is the rum? Let's go see what kind of alcohol we got because I got Jared. This might turn into a drunk cooking show. You never know. But uh, yeah, let's... Uh, Put Jeremy on the board right away here, and as you can see, I have Drew's to-do list, but uh, Jeremy, thank you. Every little bit helps, of course, and uh, <laughs> I still have I still have this from Nilsa. So, uh, you know what, DeConnor, good morning. Jeremy, cheers. We might as well get right into it, right? No, I'm not going to drink out of the bottle. It is uh, kind of a rainy day here, so Jeremy, cheers. Mm. Salted caramel is amazing, by the way. I need to get some more of this, so. All right, um, so I'm not exactly sure how to uh, get the camera because when I'm cooking, I can put the camera in, but while I'm not, I'm just gonna have to, uh, hey, Luis, how are you? Uh, do my best here. And hopefully you guys can, uh, it's kind of too close actually. So maybe I will kind of do it right about, oops, we'll go this way here. Um, I don't have much room. It is a small little kitchen, but basically we have two medium apples here. And uh, well, I got to sharpen my knife here, of course. So uh, I don't know if you guys uh, use these, but uh, we can just uh, sharpen up just a little bit. This is where a second camera comes in handy. Okay, Indigo, thank you. Traveling Gabriel, Panda Moon, good morning. And, uh, well, I got my little paring knife too. Um, so basically, you can obviously, uh, it's easy enough just to cut an apple in half and uh, you can obviously use a paring knife to uh, do that or let's see if this works you can actually use a peeler which obviously is going to work one hell of a lot better and that's what i use is a uh, peeler it's just a lot faster and it's going to take less meat of the apple out of course it is there goes the apple of course so just uh, all you have to do is take the skin off. Of course, you're going to wash your uh, your fruit afterwards too. I actually wash my apples um, before I even uh, cut them. I just want to get that wax off. Even though I am peeling the skin off and everything, I don't know why. It's just a habit of washing apples, uh, especially now. You know, nowadays with coronavirus, <laughs> getting coronavirus on an apple. Who knows? You know. Right? So, uh, yeah, there we go. I'm not going to use... Two medium apples should be enough. Of course, this is like botched kitchen day, of course. Why did my thing go in here? But you get the idea, of course. It's pretty easy to peel, a, peel an apple, of course. There you go. All right. Just clean up all the... Uh, the scraps here and then I'll put you guys into the overhead in a minute get rid of that now don't get on my ass about wasting food I'm just washing my apples here of course or just eat them what are you talking about all right so of course you want to get the core out. Is that a waste? Yeah, it should be all right. I don't want any of the uh, side of the apple, like you know, even even getting close to the core, 
Um, it might be a bit tough, and I'm just not uh, into all that, of course. So there you go. So we are. Uh, that's good enough. And again, you know, you want to make it so it's easy uh, for your family to cook, of course. You could uh, prepare everything in the meantime, but you want to cut them kind of small because uh, you're basically going to be uh, wrapping these up into the bread anyways. So just cut them as small as you can here. I guess you could use a food processor if you wanted to, but I'm not a food processor type of guy. I really am not. Oops. I love chopping things. How many of you actually use pro food processors instead of actually chopping, uh, you know, any food like onions, carrots, apples, you know, whatever. Uh, for me personally, I like using a knife. I used to have really good knife skills, but not lately. You think I would because uh, it's good enough. I wish my husband knew how to cook. <laughs> I think he really appreciates that I cook every day. I just don't film enough, I guess. So now we're going to cook the apples over a low heat basically saute them for a few minutes and uh, there we're done oops forgot one piece oh I forgot two damn they were hiding they were hiding one of my favorite chefs uh, was his name was Jeff I think it was Smith I, I think I've said that before all right so yeah we're gonna um, basically throw them into a uh, pan here I saw one with apple skin on it still there you go I'm gonna turn it on to uh, kind of like a medium high heat for a minute I'm gonna turn it down <coughs> we're gonna add in uh, two tablespoons of, uh, and of course I have these uh, pretty nifty things here, of lemon juice. And about a half a teaspoon or so. Uh, now I go by milliliters or whatever you want to call it, but uh, this is about a half a teaspoon here. Ground cinnamon. Hopefully you guys can uh, see that there. Hey, Sandra C, how are you? And we're just going to sprinkle that around. I always get nervous uh, when I'm cooking for you guys because you never know. But that's basically what we are cooking here. You just want to saute them down. it around a bit get that nice cinnamon all mixed up and of course the moisture from the apple of course will create uh, a bit of the caramelization and stuff like that so we'll just let that sit there for a minute and there we go that's uh, pretty much all you have to prepare for that uh, next up here I'm just gonna as I'm waiting for the apples to prepare um, glass basically in this bowl here I'm going to take about a third of third of a cup of uh, just white granulated sugar and I never measure really so that's probably yeah close enough to a third of a cup make sure it's all uh, done up now, of course, if you don't have sugar and ground cinnamon, I do have cinnamon sugar. 
you can use that also. It's an easier way to go. And it's actually probably a little bit stronger than uh, making this mixture here. But again, here you want to add about a teaspoon of ground uh, cinnamon. That's a little bit more than that, but that's okay. And we're just going to mix that up. Now this is where we're going to toss everything into uh, the roll-ups into at the end. But it, you might as well just prepare it now. Of course, you can start seeing everything kind of uh, starting to sweat down. It does take some time. This is about the only time-consuming part of it. But uh, trust me, it's going to be freaking awesome. <clears throat> how many of you actually like french toast hey jackie hero how are you i use a mandolin and a metal glove uh, hey nick r how are you i bet you do you do sandra love french toast from jeremy who doesn't well i don't know mission creek there are some people out there that don't like it I'm not sure all who is here and all that, because uh, obviously I've got to concentrate and cook, but uh, hello to everybody and thank you all for joining. I do appreciate it. And we will be live later on again uh, as we travel around Tokyo later on today. All right, so while that's cooking, I'm uh, just turning it down to a low heat. And you can see, you know, I use a gas stove the best ever but uh, in this bowl here basically you're going to uh, crack open your eggs I wish Wanamaker, is Wanamaker here? because he loves eggs now you can see that in the egg there you have that little membrane thing or whatever uh, some people take it out, some people don't personally, I don't care I really don't care Three tablespoons of milk. One, two, three. You want a good balance, of course. Just mixing my apples off to the side here. And uh, yeah, just mix. Mix your eggs. And you really want to make sure that it is mixed well, of course, right? Now, there's no need to put any cinnamon into the egg part because you got lots of cinnamon sugar. You got cinnamon in the apples and so on and so forth. So it does uh, work out quite well. All right. So now I'm going to uh, move the camera. I'm just going to move the camera over. As you can see, my couch. I'm going to move it over to the uh, side here. Hopefully you guys can see everything that I'm doing here. There, that's better, I think. Right about there. So I won't be able to see the comments for a minute. I am. And by the way, ladies and gentlemen, I am charging my iPad. It's just not working. <laughs> oh, maybe it is working now. So I might be able to see comments in a second here. Where's YouTube? YouTube. See, I'm opening it up. Oh my God, now I gotta sign in. Look at this. These apples have sweated down. So most of the moisture, they're, they're quite soft now. So that might be good enough. I like a little bit of crunch into it. So let's uh, keep going from there. Apple French toast. Hey, I got you guys on iPad. I can see the chat. Yay. Okay. There we go. You can see the iPad. All right, we're going to take the bread. Just normal bread, whatever bread you have. Oh, 
Honestly, this the more rectangle square style bread is way better than, you know, when you have the rounded part. <coughs> I'm going to grab my bread knife, of course. I have like a hundred different knives. And uh, yeah, you just want to cut the crust off as best as you can. Obviously, that one didn't work. I hate cutting one at a time, but oh well. I'm sweating my ass off here. Save, save your bread cr uh, crust pieces. They make amazing croutons later on. For those of you that uh, might not even think about something like that. And if you are talking to me in the chat, make sure you tag me so that I can see it pop up in orange. I'm trying to be as quick as possible, but... Alright, we got three done. Line it up. Has anybody ever made something like this before? Like these roll-up style things? I think they're... It'd be fun for kids, for the adult, I mean, for the kid in you. I think it'd be great, actually. All right, so the bread, oops, the bread is done. I'm gonna grab my trusty rolling pin. And basically, all we're gonna do, I'm gonna set this off to the side. You're just gonna grab one bread here. Let's get rid of all these knives. So, you are you got your bread. You just basically you want to roll it out. That's all you want to do. Flatten it. Flatten it like you know what. <laughs> and that's it. That is all. It, it's going to feel really dense. But that's what you want. And just move on to the next one. So we uh, don't flatten the bread for one of them. Why? It won't uh, work very well, Mission Creek. And don't forget, these are supposed to be small, right? They're not supposed to be uh, big ass pieces, big ass roll ups and stuff like that. But there you go. I'll just finish up these here. I'll get back into the chat in a minute. For a better future, good morning. If you want to eat your crust, you can get curly hair. I don't think so. When do we add the rosemary? Ha ha ha, Motonoman. Good morning to you, young man. Young man. Da, 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 da. Never mind. It can be fun. You could do this with kids at home instead of having them on the damn internet or their cell phones or playing games. Teach them how to make something that uh, is fun to eat. Absolutely. All right, so that's it, ladies and gentlemen. That is uh, pretty much, you know, it looks like a flat piece of bread. Comes the fun part now. Of course, the best cream cheese, in my opinion, still. Philadelphia cream cheese. And you can add as much as you want. Make sure that it is room temperature so it's easily spreadable. And basically, you just want to spread not too much on, but you know, put as much as you want on. But cream cheese and apples, like, really? You can't get anything better, really. Well, I guess you could, but. You never know, right? What is Jeremy saying? Careful, you are starting to talk like an old man with the damn internet comment. You are too young for that. <laughs> you can make Uncrustables. Not sure. But you do want to make sure, ladies and gentlemen. Oops, I didn't even bother my own advice. Make sure that whatever way you're going to roll it up, it's the, the cream cheeses kind of act like a blue in a way also. 
So make sure you get the edges. Of course. You can see I'm not putting too much on. It's just very sparse, I guess you would say. Um, but again, depends on, you know, if you love cream cheese, then uh, put as much as you want on. Really. Okay. It doesn't have to be perfect for all you OCD people out there. Maybe it does. But we started, what, uh, nine o'clock so it's been half an hour but again you know with all the talking prep you should have this done really uh in, in probably less than half an hour i would think all right so uh cream cheese is done hi mindy's mom hi mindy's mom all right i'm gonna take uh, my little butter dish of course i love these butter dishes of course, I'm pretty sure you all have them, but uh, when we get the butter, it cuts it into 10 grams each, which uh, works perfect. Butter is going uh, into the frying pan. I'm going to turn it on really low first. All right, so here's our apples. Okay. Him until we uh, get these done up. Take your apple and basically you just want enough to fill it up. Of course when you cook two medium apples you should use about 10 slices of bread but I'm only going to be using uh, six here. Let's see if we can roll this up. I hope it's in camera view here. It's almost like uh, rolling up sushi. <laughs> Maki sushi. But there, that's it. That's all you want, see? The cream cheese is gonna act like a glue. Everything should stay in. I could probably put a bit more in. I'll go on the next time. Especially this big ass one here. That butter dish is pretty cool. Thank you, Mindy's mom. Hiromi loves it, of course. I usually just use my hands when I'm preparing stuff. And I probably will. I'm getting tired of this spoon here. I have uh, I have cooked chef's hands, so even if even though this is still kind of hot, I don't really burn myself too bad. I'm trying to be as quick as possible here. How many of you would actually in the chat make make these one day? Try making them. I bet you will like it. Try to get them as even as possible before I start rolling them up. Because if any of you have made sushi out there, maki sushi, you know everything has to be pretty much even in order to work. Okay, I'm gonna wash my hands. All right, now, we'll bring that over, get rid of that. Time to roll up the rest of them here. So again, just like a burrito or a sushi, see how it's, it's already sticking. Make sure they are really tight. You can even go back and forth. And there we go. That's uh, pretty much about it. Quite easy. Mmm. The apples taste really good for the one that just fell out. This might be a bit too much. I guess you could never have too much cream cheese and sauteed apples. Uh, for a better future, squeeze the ends closed but and deep fry them. No, thank you. I'm definitely going to try this recipe. Austin Desert Fox and good morning. Hey, Auntie Leanna, good morning. Uh, Instagram, Instagram from Nightbot. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's going to be a fun dish, right? And, like, 
honestly, Hiromi loves these kind of things because she loves like little snacks. Anything that will feed her tummy, feed her belly, but get her out the door fast for work. I got way too much in this one. Gotta eat it. All right, there we go. So, um, actually, you know what? This needs more cream cheese on the end. Doctor it up here. There we go. It's falling apart now. And there we go. That's it. Extra apple. Eat it. Yum. All right, so I want to get uh, clean up a little bit. Bad habit I have is having a messy freaking kitchen, ladies and gentlemen. Just a bad habit. Uh, piece of apple. All right, I'm going to turn my frying pan on. I think this camera view is good enough here. Are you going to make us food for the meetup? <laughs> yeah, okay, maybe. Have you guys all smashed that like button? We got 69 people in the chat. How many likes do we got? How many likes do we got, ladies and gentlemen? Look at that. I'm going to get a little bit luxurious here and add 20 grams of butter. 20 grams. There we go. Maybe I should send one of these to uh, Mindy's mom. <laughs> Get your da -da 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 -da. hey TV family in support of thank you Night Riders Gal. I appreciate it. You have your age 43. Awesome! Thank you. Way to go, way to go, community. Thank you so much. <clears throat> okay, now as some of you might know when you are cooking with butter. It's going to froth up. You kind of want it to stop frothing up before you add anything to it. You know why? That looks pretty good right there. All right, we are going to take our roll up and basically just dip it. Just dip it like you would French toast, right? You want to let it sit for a little bit. That's probably good enough. I can fit all six in. And, of course, I will use the egg, leftover egg, for something else. For breakfast, of course. Stop the froth! <laughs> oh, I, I forgot I had it on high heat. Shit! Oh, well. See what happens when, you, when I have shots of alcohol and trying to cook? And I'll just throw that one there. I'm going to save the rest of the egg here. Wash my hands. Clean up a little bit. And it's not going to take too long for uh, for these to uh, roll over either. And start cooking. And basically, you just want to rotate them on each side. Obviously, to get that French toast uh, thing going on. It depends on how well you like your French toast. You want your eggs cooked, you know, so on and so forth. And that's pretty much about it, guys. Here's famous Swiss chalet toast. <laughs> Dunk the crust in the egg mixture. Make French toast sticks. I do have a video on that Merry Christmas, of course. I've already made French toast sticks before. So, I just gotta uh, get my, my sugar going here. Make sure that it's doing well. Yeah, that's close enough.
And you might be right, Merry Christmas, because I do have uh, a lot of croutons I've already made. I don't know if you guys can see this or not. Oh, who's that? Thank you. Who is that? Oh, Desert Fox. Thank you so much. It's time for another shot, Drew. Well, arigato gozaimashita. Hold on, let me uh, get the... Show you guys a bit of a closer up. See, there's my iPad, Ramsey Silent. This is uh, kind of what they're looking to be like. So hopefully, uh, hopefully you guys can see that. It doesn't take long to cook. Of course, it's just going to heat the apple inside. But keep an eye on it. French toast doesn't take that long to cook. Of course, I will botch it up. <laughs> Thank you, uh, Desert Fox. You are on the board, young man. You can see that the, you know, it will, it might come apart a little bit, but for the most part, it's going to stay together, right? Just want that edge to cook. There we go. Doesn't it look yummy, guys? Yummy, yummy in my tummy. This is why I don't do uh, cooking shows, guys. I get a little, I look at, I get a little nuts. I get a little nuts. Oh, one more left. Woohoo! Desert Fox, thank you so much. I appreciate it, and uh, thank you for the support, everybody. Cheers. All right, we're almost done. Actually, we're gonna plate up soon too. Now this might be a bit too dark for some of you out there. I kind of like it a bit darker actually. Like this one here, just a little bit too light. But uh, yeah, they're ready to plate up. I'm just gonna grab a, a plate here. So again, we're gonna kind of bring you guys Ah, let's go this way again. I gotta walk around my whole kitchen to make sure the angle is good. And I don't want to burn everything. All right. Hey, Moko. Cinnamon sugar. But I'm not gonna use the bowl. Of course, I'm gonna use my fine china. This is Noritake. If any of you are uh, familiar with Noritake. And uh, basically, we're just going to toss them, not too much, but enough that you'll get the uh, cinnamon sugar coated around all of them, of course. The apples are going to fall out. Can't read the comments just yet, guys, but I will. Okay, Night Rider says, those look yummy. For me, the best part of French toast is when you soak the bread in the egg mixture, and once cooked, the bread becomes custardy. Absolutely, Night Riders Gail. You are so right. I guess that is the best way to uh, explain it. The bread does become custardy. I guess I could make a tower. I guess. <laughs> And I would say that is kind of good enough. Oh, thank you, Desert Fox. I appreciate it again, sir. Arigato. Now check this out, ladies and gentlemen. You can see how the caramelized apple is seeping out. So let me just clean this up. I'll put everything off to the side here. And, uh, well, that's kind of what I got here. I'm not uh, going to plate it up very well. Uh, because we're going to dig right in and check it out here. Of course, I do have some Quebec Canadian maple syrup. I would probably pour it over top because I'm lazy. But at the same time, why not use a little bit of a bowl? 
and just dip it in because they are roll-ups. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, thank you. Who's that, Ram? Thanks, bro. Might as well just finish that bottle off. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it. I really do. Desert Fox, Ramsey Silent. Let's just do the whole... Ooh, that's a little too much. But let me turn the camera around here. And uh, now I can... Hi. I can actually say thank you, guys. So, uh, yeah, let's get let's get right into it. Cheers, everybody. And, uh, well, I guess this is basically my apple French toast roll-ups with a side of maple syrup. And uh, I'm sweating my ass off because usually, usually... Oh, hold on one sec. Desert Fox and Ramsey Silent... Desert, one, two, Ram, one, thank you, I appreciate it. Um, <clears throat> where'd my knife go? Oh, here it is, hi. All right, so, totally Drew, what other fillings can you put in there? You, you know, savory? I, you could put like, maybe like a ham and cheese. Personally, <clears throat> for me, I like more fruit style in roll-ups, I guess. Um, you know, bananas, uh, like check this out. This is our daily freezer at the bottom here. I'm just going to reach behind me. Watch this. We basically have, uh, we buy strawberries in bulk and freeze them. So we have like four or five packs of strawberries. If you like strawberries, you could add strawberries. Um, you know, we have, uh, bags of mango. We have bags of, uh, hey Amanda Moore, how are you? Um, I gotta talk to you, Amanda, after this. Um, bananas. We, we freeze all our fruit because we make smoothies every morning, but... Alright, Itadakimasu! Let's, uh, deconstruct this a bit. I'm just gonna cut one in, in a piece here. I'll try and show you what it looks like. Doesn't that look yummy, guys? Look at that. Very simple. No durian. I'm just going to dip it a little bit into some maple syrup here. Mmm. Mmm. The apples are still warm. Cinnamon is all throughout this. Um, the sugar, of course, makes it sweet. And again, you will make it tomorrow, John? Awesome. Um, like Knight Rider's gal said, it's almost that custardy feel when you're crunching on this. This is pretty freaking good, people. I surprise myself sometimes. <laughs> mm. This is a good, good ass breakfast. Look at that. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. Can you scratch and sniff? Maybe? Something? Now, honestly, I I'm not going to lie to you. I would probably pour maple syrup over top, then dipping it into the maple syrup itself. Because I'm lazy. Mmm. Smell of vision, right? Um, I just missed a comment here. Oh, I love bread pudding. Oh my god. I was actually tossing up it back and forth. Do I want to make bread pudding? Or do I want to... Uh, I guess I don't need my iPad anymore, right? Eh? Or do I want to uh, make these? And I thought, you know, these might be fun for you guys. Um, ass roll-ups? No, what? I have no idea. Drew, can you do some with natto and durian? No, thank you. Why do you guys keep bringing that up? Oh, I hate natto. Now, to eat it just by itself. Mmm. Actually, I like it better without the maple syrup or honey. How are you, Reed and Carmen? Good morning. Mmm. Oh, wow, that's so good. You know what? Honestly, hey, Gail, thank you for being here. 
<laughs> Wanamaker! How are you? I gotta see what alcohol I have. Hmm. I haven't been drinking whiskey as much, ladies and gentlemen, but thank you, Wanamaker. I appreciate it. I just... He's a Wana! Thank you. Appreciate it. Everything helps. I, I really appreciate it. Please support uh, Emoji Club with stars. Oh, and ladies and gentlemen, one more. One more Emoji Club member. We will hit 100, ladies and gentlemen. Two more. We'll hit 101, and we'll do a giveaway. Ha! Crapple Crisp. Uh, hey, Drew. Hi, everyone. I'm so happy you're here. Uh, and thank you for the amazing, uh, wonderful emails that you uh, we sent last week to each other, or this week, or something like that. Mm -hmm. Hold on, I gotta get. Uh, what do I got here? Oh no! Uh, well, Wanna Maker, you are getting a special shot. This here. Oops, I almost broke this. Look at this, look at this. I've been waiting, actually, for a long time. Does anybody know what this is? I think Luis has been waiting to be the 100th Emoji Club member. Well, ladies and gentlemen, if Luis joins right now, he would be the 100th member and get a special prize. Absolutely. There you go. It's a bottle. Really, Nickar? It's not moonshine. Oh, you know what? I do have, cheers. Oh, that's horrible. No, I can't, I can't drink that. Oh, that is horrible. It, it is sake. Um, I don't know why Hiromi has it, but she does. But this here, uh, this French toast, ladies and gentlemen, I'm telling you, it is amazing. It is amazing. Mm. I like it without maple syrup. Mm. Apples and cinnamon, there's not, honestly, is there a better combination out there than apples and cinnamon? A bit of sugar, eggs. This is seriously fit for a king. Oh. Mm. Okay, now, you're okay with the smashed bread idea? <laughs> yeah, it, it, look, look at that. How come no whipped cream on top? I'm on a diet. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Let's do it again. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Night Riders gal, you amazing... Woman, you. I'm sorry, Night Riders gal, but if I see it, I'm going to sing it. Happy birthday to you. Mwah. <laughs> ah. If I get everybody else in the, uh, in the community, I'm going to get you. Yellow stars? No yellow stars. And ladies and gentlemen, Knight Rider's gal is a, is now her age twenty nine again. Oh, these are so good, guys! Really, please check it out. In the description is um, the recipe. Real fast, right? Um, make it. Try it. I'm telling you, this is a great breakfast idea, and uh, you can't go wrong. You really can't. The cream cheese enhances basically the whole meal, okay? It's, um, of course, you can have apples and cinnamon, bread, you know, but put in that cream cheese, and it just melts. Oh, it's so, I wish you, you got to try it. I wish you could experience right now what I am tasting here. Look at that. You can see the cream cheese kind of melty there. Oh. Amazing. 
Mm. Amazing. Of course, I've eaten almost three. I'm going to save three for Hiromi. Even though it'll be a few hours before she eats it. Okay, okay. Yellow shirt, yellow stars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, even though it's going to be a few hours after she eats it, she will kind of heat these up a little bit and, and uh, eat it. Mm. Mm. I saw the comment on the ice cream, but how many of you actually eat ice cream for breakfast? Right? So, I think for breakfast, this would be great. For a snack in the evening or something like that. Because let's face it, hey, 10 minute Tokyo Hori. Um, it could be a dessert as well. Exactly, Merry Christmas. So, I guess, you know, Feng with his uh, amazing food ideas. Um, I honestly, sorry, a bit of a picky eater, just like uh, you are, John. Um, I think whipped cream would just be too sweet. I eat ice cream for what did Jason said for breakfast last week. <laughs> really, I think whipped cream would add just too much sweetness to this dish. But uh, again, every time I cook, you guys always have your ideas and stuff like that, and that's pretty awesome. Um, but yeah, last bite for me, it's kind of empty. Oops, then it fell off my fork. Ah. Microwave eggs, that is sacrilegious. Mascarpone might be good, Jeremy, yeah. So again, ladies and gentlemen, yeah. I only ate three out of the six. Pretty damn good, ladies and gentlemen. It really is. All right, we're going to go over to uh, the den for a few more minutes, and then we're going to get out of here. Um, of course, I did not use Mindy's mom's... Uh... Sorry, Mindy's mom. I said earlier before you joined I was going to use it, but I, I never did. <coughs> oh, how could I forget my coffee? Got to walk through my house into the den. Sorry, I gotta show. I gotta show our little baby here. Hi, Chibi. Hi, Jim. <laughs> Where's Moko? Hi, Mo. Moko loves the camera. Well, she did. Hi, Moko. And of course, there's Chibi. Queen Chibi. Chibi, 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 Chan. Momo, what are you doing? This is where they uh, we set up for them to sleep during the day when we are usually gone. Yeah, do you like the cow print? I love it. It is a leather couch, uh, leather sectional, so we uh, we try to <coughs> cover it because of the puppies and stuff like that. So um, I'm just going into my uh, computer here. Deja vu, deja vu. Oh! Yeah, shut the volume off here. So, uh, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, um, I got to go out uh, later on. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Um, if you want more cooking videos, give me a big thumbs up. What do we have? 52 likes. That's awesome. We got four losers and 52 amazing community members. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Shit, I forgot my coffee. Oh, I always do that. And I'm sure John, John Ram and Jason are probably going, Drew, get your coffee. Mm. Now, I do have to go to Tokyo Station today. Um, too many Drews? You didn't see my sacrilegious comment about eggs. Well, I'm going to look now. I can scroll better. Microwave eggs when I work, it's honestly not bad if made correctly. Uh, Merry Christmas. You should never, ever, 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 ever microwave eggs. No, 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 no. Don't do as I call the fang. Just don't do it. It's, uh, <coughs> it really is sacrilegious in my opinion. It really is. Um, <clears throat> 
Time to prep for Friday night. Oh no, yeah, I saw. Can you see that picture right there? Of course, Michelle Ty is the one that gave me the Funko Pops. Dyson! But that's uh, actually a photo I bought off of uh, Tokyo Lens Norm uh, a few years ago. Still love that picture. Like he went out and uh, took that photo uh, a few years ago. And I think he was selling it on some website. And I was like, dude, I'm going to buy your picture to support you. And I did. So. Um, but no. I know a lot of you do like breakfast. I know a lot of you like eggs. And I know a lot of you do want uh, different cooking ideas and stuff like that. Hey, when you're waking up at 3 a.m. staying in the airport for six hours with no money, you need to do the set. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Should never microwave except for emergency. Gail, I agree with you. Try telling that to bang. Don't microwave chicken sea bass either. That's chicken, oh, Chilean sea bass. Oh my God, why? I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. I have never microwaved things in my life unless I'm heating up a bento. You have an oven, you have a stove, you have pots and pans. You think 50 years ago, okay, more than 50 years ago maybe, but did they have microwave ovens? No! They cooked on freaking open flame and away you went. Microwaves make you guys lazy. You're gonna, you're gonna set me off. Mm, keep talking about microwaves. Oh, I, I want to delete your comment, Fang, microwave fish. Ugh. And you know what? If I don't have a microwave, and I, I agree with Cobra, I'll just eat it cold. That would totally ruin a very expensive and good piece of fish. Right, Night Riders gal? I don't even own a microwave. Awesome, Jeremy. I knew I liked you for a reason. Fran, the only thing that would make your French toast rolls better would be a side of bacon. Bacon is better with everything, of course. Our microwave came in the 70s. Drew spoken like a true chef. I guess so. You know, I, honestly, I used to be a chef. Can you microwave emojis? Maybe if you use the meme, uh, Moto Gnome. Um, I just warm things up in a microwave, no cooking in it. Right, John? See? That's what microwaves are intended for, is to heat things up. Yes, it has come a long way. Uh, Joe's special scrambled eggs with spinach, beef, and mushrooms. Ooh, yum. Now that, anything spinach, in my opinion, also is awesome. Ultraviolet. I use, I usually only use my microwave to reheat my coffee after I walk away and forget I made it. I've done that. That's acceptable. I put pizza on a saucepan on low heat with a cover to reheat it. Still better if you grill it. And this is coming from someone whose family had worked for Amana for two generations. Microwave was my best friend. I want to time Feng out just for mentioning microwave. Mm. I'm sweating my ass off here, ladies and gentlemen. Cooking. Oh. But you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm happily and pleasantly surprised. Uh, and hopefully you enjoyed uh, that recipe. I really, really hope you guys enjoyed it. So. <clears throat> oh, seasoned cast iron? There's nothing better. Nothing better. Can you microwave macas? Reheat pizza in the air fryer? Is it humid outside? Yes, Merry Christmas. Uh, because we've got the typhoon coming and going and it's been raining on and off. Um, I, I It's very humid in this apartment right now. Um, and we actually, you know, like... Sometimes we always talk about um, how, you know, Japanese walls are thin and so on and so forth. You know, we have a good apartment where it keeps the heat in, it keeps the cold in, you know, so on and so forth. So when it gets humid, I got all my windows open. The humidity is actually coming in and staying inside the apartment. So I'm literally sweating my ass off here. Uh, and I hate humidity. I think we all do, though, right? I make grilled cheese in a toaster. Oh my God, Robert. How, how you guys are gonna set me off here, man. Maybe I'm, I'm too traditional in my, in my thinking, uh, in cooking ways, but making a grilled cheese in a toaster is just wrong. You want that grill, that butter to be grilling up and oh, mm, a toaster? 
you can pop on the air con for a few minutes to get the humidity out that's what we do yeah i probably will um especially when i go out later on um we will be doing another live stream after this i'm going to go literally in a, in a few minutes here ladies and gentlemen um so make sure you get your notifications on and uh we will be doing an explore japan today i just don't know where yet uh but guys i gotta go i hope you enjoyed this recipe um again if you want more cooking videos give me a thumbs up in the comments right now plasma thumbs up for emoji club a yellow thumbs up for luis and uh hopefully uh you will uh join me on the next stream Thank you, everybody. Thank you for the super chats, uh, Desert Fox, Wanamaker, and uh, Ramsey Silent. I really appreciate the monetary support, of course. We need one more Emoji Club member. Do it now, ladies and gentlemen. Please check out these two videos here. The Patreon link is here, and subscribe. Keep it real, keep it raw. Straight to yourself. Because most of the time, we all do. Bye, everybody. Thank you.